Roosevelt envisions the federal government as the mediator of the public good, not the agent of any particular interest. Theodore Roosevelt singles out for immediate attention the phenomenon of dodgy corporate accounting and specifically of stock watering, which is corporations overstating the amount of investment that went into their balance sheets. Corporations are a public trust and therefore these corporations ought to be subject to the regulation of the executive branch and their accounts ought to be open to the public and specifically to the government. And this is something that he presses for. Although Roosevelt is not a trust buster at heart, he files more than 40 antitrust suits during his years in office. He was worried about the damage that corporations were doing to America, the squeezing off of opportunity, the denial of people of their wages, their opportunity to advance in the world. And so he did not hesitate to talk about reining in the power of the corporations and using the power of the government to do that, even if it meant regulating or controlling or even taking the property of corporations against their own interests and desires.